theophylline toxicity. The causes of theophylline toxicity include the following. It can occur due to decreased clearance and decreased metabolism by cytochrome oxidase enzymes. It can also occur due to inhibition of phosphodiesterase enzyme by concurrent illnesses. For example, the patient has cirrhosis, cholestasis, respiratory uh, infection with fever, and or drugs that uh, uh, inhibit uh, uh, the cytochrome P450 system, as um, cimetidine, ciprofloxacin, erythromycin, clarithromycin, verapamil, right? So if you uh, give uh, theophylline together with these drugs, there is a high chance of theophylline toxicity. The central nervous system uh, effects include headaches, insomnia, and seizures. Gastrointestinal uh, tract symptoms include nausea and vomiting. The cardiac symptoms mainly arrhythmias, right? So there is uh, atrial tachycardia, supraventricular tachycardia, and of uh, other ventricular arrhythmias, right? Right. So the seizures are the major cause of morbidity and mortality in theophylline toxicity. The tachyarrhythmias are other major concerns, but usually they do not cause QT prolongation. Right. They don't cause QT prolongation. For management of theophylline toxicity, activated charcoal is used to reduce GI absorption. In case of hypotension, uh, you can give saline infusion. If this does not work, uh, you can then add adrenergic agonists. For management of seizures, you can give uh, benzodiazepines or, or barbiturates. For tachyarrhythmias, cardioselective beta blockers can work, right? So, uh, because they reduce cyclic AMP levels, right? So non-selective can induce bronchial hyperactivity. So they are actually contraindicated, right? So drugs like propanolol, they are contraindicated as the control of tachyarrhythmia in theophylline toxicity.